This is the Parallax Propeller Board of Education from Parallax. Today we're going to look at how to program it using the new C programming interface. Let's look at some of the features. To begin with, we'll see the propeller in the center of the board here. In the lower right corner, you'll see that there is a digital to analog converter chip. This is accessible from the breadboarding area by the pins located along the bottom right. At the top of the board, you'll see there are six servo, ping, or LCD connectors. At the bottom, there is a micro SD card connector for external storage. Alongside it, there is an XB wireless communications socket for an XB module. Next to it, there is an audio out connector. It is an eighth inch audio jack. At the top, there is a DC power connection for powering your projects. You can also use a nine volt battery with the connectors located here. Other features unique to the Board of Education are an audio input microphone, a bank of LEDs, as well as a VGA output connector. Now let's take a look at the simple IDE programming interface. At the top you'll see the simple tools.h programming library. This is included via the include statement. Any other libraries will be using the same format. Below this is the main function, which is the body of your program. Any code appearing in here is what is run. Let's start with a simple pause statement. I'm going to give it a thousand milliseconds to pause, which is one second. And then below this, let's put in a printf statement. This is going to print to the terminal that will open up whenever we run our program. And I'm going to use the simple hello world message. To run with the terminal, you have the blue icon surrounded with the terminal icon. When you click this, it will flash to the propeller and the propeller will respond with the hello world message. Now, let's see if we can get an LED to blink. In order to do this, we need to modify our code so we can remove the code that we just typed. I'm going to replace that code with the command called hi. This will set a high voltage on a pin that I specify, in this case pin 26. And as you might imagine, because there's a high command, there's also a low command which will drop the voltage on the same pin, pin 26. Now this will happen so fast we need to slow it down so we can even see it. So I'm going to insert a pause command right here and specify a uh, hundred milliseconds here. Now I'm going to flash the program to the propeller by using the load and run. Watch quickly because the LED is going to flash one time and you may even miss it. Did you see it? You may need to go back and watch it again to see it blink orange. Okay, our next step is that we're going to now change the code so that it blinks repeatedly. We're going to make use of the very commonly used while loop, and I'm going to put it at the beginning of our program, and we're going to have this while loop repeat continuously. Remember that anything inside the parentheses of the while needs to be true so that it continues to run. Everything within these curly braces located here is going to be the payload of our while loop, that is the code that runs over and over and over. I'm going to put a pause here at the end so that we have 100 milliseconds of on time, 100 milliseconds of off time, and then to set a value of true here I'm just going to put the number 1. Now let's load that code to the propeller and see if our code runs as expected. The LEDs will blink as the program is loaded, and there's our orange LED blinking repeatedly just as we expected. Obviously there's more you can do with a propeller than just blink an LED. Visit learn.parallax.com to see what other projects are available and to learn more about Propeller C. On the left column there are tutorials and references on how to get started with more in-depth C programming. Thanks for watching.